You know, sometimes when the moon's right and it kisses the sun on the forehead and five people wake up from their comas at the same time. Yeah. You think to yourself, did I really buy Apple Jaws? Did you really buy what? Can we start, dog? Welcome to Beta Boys Podcast. I'm here with Nick and uh, you look like you just got out of jail. Same to you. Like, this is like your out of jail clothes. You fixing it? Why? You don't like the way your face looks? What do you mean? You ain't bad looking, dog. I know I'm But not. you know, the corduroy's nice. It's a good touch. Why are we on a slant? Is it the desk? I think it's your face. No, it's the phone, dog. No. Yeah, you see that? No, no. Ah. Ah. Is it fixed? I'm just not going to be happy with it. This looks nice, right? Like, is it too close? What's going on? I don't I don't know. Everyone always says this shit looks bigger than what it is. That's wild. And then they get mad when they come here. All right, listen, dog. We got to talk about some important shit today. So. You understand soccer? Football? The beautiful game and shit? Yeah, football. So, I watched this David Beckham documentary. It was beautiful and everything. I was like, all right. Knew some shit, you know. He had a bomb ass career. He had 150 fucking caps. That's call ups for his national team. Oh, a okay. hundred's a lot, dog. This man had 150, yeah. like 154. He was killing it. That's that dope was a cool as documentary. Fuck. You didn't watch it. Shut up. I watched. So, the, what do you mean? I watched the last episode. I watched this <laughs> thing, dog, and it was. They want to. All right, so there's yellow cards and there's red cards when you play. Yeah. I get, I got one yellow card. In my whole time playing yeah. for excessive celebration, because I did a front flip when I scored and I was like, Meh. and um, I fucking that was the only time I ever got a yellow card. So how it works is, if it's a really bad foul, it'd be a straight red. You know, like you meant to hurt this person. Red, ban from that game and ban for two games. Yeah, and then if you can do two yellows, so yellow can be like you know like I grab your hand and I push you down, and it's not like a red. It's like you know it's deliberate. And, like, there's a yellow, and then if you get a second yellow, you're done. That's a red card. Yeah. But I think it's one band game after that. Straight red, I'm pretty sure, is two. And two yellows is one. So, wait, you never got a red? Never in my life. Nah, there was one game we had. We were in the finals of a game, and that game got canceled. But I wasn't one of the people that got a red because we started fighting. And I remember, dog... I was playing, um, it's weird because I'm right footed and motherfuckers like, normally like you play on the opposite wing that you're at. So if I'm fucking right footed dog, I'll play on the left wing and I'll cut in and shoot. That's how wing you're supposed to play. Yeah. But fucking, I like playing, I'm a right footer, but I like playing on the right because I just like fucking smashing that bitch. So I play like that dog. And then I'll, um, there was this guy and these motherfuckers looked like they were in the MLS dog. They're all built. The guy that was like supposed to be marking me was like fucking 6'2", 230. And I remember I spun him. And then I got my, like, my body hit him. But like, foo, like so much finesse, dog. And he <coughs> fell. And I looked at him and I said, go to the fucking gym, pussy. And he, uh, what's it called? It's just, there was fights and everything. And I didn't get like a red card or anything. And then they broke it up and everyone was calm. And I was like, bet you won't suck his dick. And then they started fighting again. But listen, listen, I never got a red card. The greatest fucking sportsman ever, dog. You're talking to right now. Oh, and naturally. Yeah. Right? What was that? Hair. Next time, eat it. So they're trying to introduce this fucking bullshit where it's orange cards. And it's penal like 10 minute penalty boxes. Like it's fucking a brawl in hockey. Who has the... Oh my god, <clears throat> dog. It's the fucking FIFA bullshit ass federation. They want to fucking put all this shit in and they want to make more money. Wait, how is Orange Cards going to do that? Because the way it's going to do is they're going to be like... if So there's something called VAR. VAR? Keep going. Bruh, it, it works in all the leagues besides the Premier League. But to, the Premier League's where all the fucking money's going, dog. And sometimes I think they do this shit on purpose so that they can make fucking headliners because it doesn't make no sense, dog. Like, there was a goal. Arsenal, the most, the greatest team ever, was fucking... We lost 1-0 to Newcastle. Nil means zero, by the way. Clearly. And they fucking... Um, we lost 1-0. First of all, the ball 
All right, there was a Spanish thing like Bean Sports. Hold on, hold on. Where are you getting at with VAR right now? Uh, can you shut up and listen? Enjoy the ride, dog. Just close your eyes this and enjoy This ride's taking a few turns. So, I was curious. Fucking, bro, Arsenal didn't lose that game, dog. We were robbed. And <laughs> we fucking, the ball was out. The guy got fouled. But they were literally like, the complaint that they were making is, our defender 6'3", monster of a person. But he got pushed in the back. You can't fully extend your arms. That's a foul. Yeah. So they literally just called it for like some bullshit, dog. And Newcastle, I'm not saying anything, dog. I'm not that person. But Newcastle's owned by the fucking, the new Saudi Arabian shit. And they fucking have people on like, you know, it's just, it's weird, bro. And then they have fucking the Saudi, the Saudi league. And then they can loan players to Newcastle. It's fucked up. The whole thing's fucked up. Because it doesn't support Arsenal at all. But we basically got robbed. There's times we played Brentford. They didn't draw the offsides line. And we tied, like... We could have won a title. It's just bullshit, dog. And it always happens in the fucking Premier League. So now they want to do this shit because people are like, yo, check the VAR, dog. Like, what the fuck's going on? Why do we still have human error when there's computers? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's bullshit. And fucking <clears throat> people are like, dog, the reason they want to do the orange cards <laughs> is because if you deliberately talk to a ref bad, even if they make a fucking mistake, even if they're fucking up, Nick. They could give you an orange card and you're out of the game for 10 minutes. Yeah. Now imagine playing against a team one person down for 10 minutes. Yeah. It's bullshit. You're going to lose your flow during that. The whole thing's fucking dumb, bro. Fucking orange card. I mean, it's just kind of stupid that they'd even try to introduce something like that. Dog, there, there's so many games during the season. They have the fucking... All right, there's the Champions League. But now they're going to switch the format to the Champions League now, which, all right, we'll see how it is. Then there's the Europa League. Now there's the fucking Conference League. So it's like Champions League. Wait, what's the where does Conference League come from? So, Doug, so basically uh, in the Premier League, one through four. So I'm pretty sure it's the f- top four teams in the Premier League and then top three teams in all the other leagues go in the Champions League. But the Premier League, bro, it's fucking one through four because that's the hardest league in the world. Yeah. And then I think five goes to Europa. Okay. And then six goes to the Conference League now. And what the Conference League is, just another way to make more money, dog. It's It's just extra games. It's for teams that aren't as good to go to the Champions League or to the Europa League to, like, play for another cup. So it's a fucking conference league. It's kind of like a washed fucking cup, though. No, 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 no. Like, I, would they I feel good about it? No, it's like, it's six and, I think it's seventh or, I'm pretty sure it's just six, maybe seventh. And they play, and it's not as big as the, the thing, but it's just like, you know. Their teams are going to be there for, yeah, like, the fans, whatever. Yeah, it's a fun whatever. way, you know, for fans that, like. So do you like it or not? The conference? I'm getting That I don't have a problem with. But the shit that I do, dog, is there's so many. There's the FA Cups. There's so many fucking cups now. The fucking, there's the, um, the what's it called league where it's like all like the European teams play now. The, the Nations League, which doesn't make sense. Dog, during the international break, basically we have international break so that you could play with your fucking, your country, you know? Yeah. Neymar Torres ACL. Gavi, this 19-year-old player, tore his ACL. All in the fucking like, international all league. It. Fucking um, Vinicius got injured. All these motherfuckers are getting injured, bro. Yeah, because they're, they're not getting rest. Well, they're all getting overplayed. During, um, what's it called? Last year, we had a World Cup in December, and the league started. And then no one had a pre... Oh, what's it called? No one had a... um Break. Yeah, no one really had a break, and it's just like, there's something called the World Cup Hangover, and it's just people just fucking playing to just die, bro. And all these injuries are coming, all these new injuries are coming, the game's getting more intense, there's more intensity, younger people are starting to break out and like, be better, because now the game's more like, athletic, Yeah, you know, it's like, fast pace, move, this, that, and fucking kids are playing like, 16 year old kids, 17 year old kids, are playing 90 fucking minutes. Against grown ass men. Yeah. And they're just getting whacked, bro. Like, um, there's this guy, his name's Ansu Fati. Barcelona, bro. 16? Now I think he's 19, 20. 
Okay. But he came to the scene, bro. He was saucing. Barca was sucking. Messi was doing his best. But even Messi was like, yo, this is this team kind of sucks. And then he's like, fuck you, dog. I don't need you. And then he was saucing. So literally the number 10 in Barcelona. And I'm not a Barcelona fan. I'm just saying. But the number 10 in Barcelona, if you wear that, you get your ass eaten every fucking day for the rest of your life. Twice. And Ronaldinho had it before. God tier. Yeah. Messi had it, probably the greatest player to ever exist. So they gave it to uh, Fati, and now Fati's getting injured. He just got injured again, and he said it's a bad injury. And it's just like, the reason why is when they were going through it, when he got his first injury, they were making him play through the injury. You know? This motherfucker, Pedri, he played like 6,000 games in a row. Yeah, no. Like, this man looks like he hasn't slept in like a fucking year. Does, does FIFA even, like, care about it, though? Like, or they just want to keep burning these players down just to make more money? Keep burning down. They want to change the fucking offsides rules. So, like, all right, this kind of... How they want to do it kind of makes sense than how they said it before. But how they want to do it is... Arsene Wenger was the old Arsenal coach. Yeah. You know, and I fuck with him. But there's some shit he would say. I'm like, yo... I got to punch you, dog. Because he was like, if one part of your body is like, if you're the last defender, I have to be even with you Yeah. to be on sides. But he said, if my foot is even with like your foot, just one part of my body, that's on sides. That makes no fucking sense. But what they're saying is parts of your body, which you can't score with, should be, should like not count if it's off sides. Okay. I kind of understand with that. If my hand's off sides... Then, like, I can't do anything with my hand. That makes sense to me. Yeah. But, I don't know. They want to change so much shit about it, and it's just kind of like, dog, relax. Bro. Are the same, man. <clears throat> Are the FIFA people even, like, I just, I don't catch the vibe that they're actually... Bro, they don't give no fucks. They don't give zero fucks. You know? The next World Cup, so you can only, like, you can't host the World Cup, I think, eight years after you host it. Tell me fucking why. the ne- Not this World Cup. This world is going to be like Mexico, fucking US, and Canada. Is it going back to Qatar? Bro, tell me how they want to do it where it's South America and Europe. It's going to be like Argentina. Like flying Chile. back and forth. Bro, some bullshit, dog. That doesn't make sense. And the only reason they're doing that is so there's no other countries allowed except Saudi Arabia. And I guess it costs like $4 billion or $4 million dollars. To host the World Cup? Four million. Four million. Wait, they have to pay FIFA four million. Some weird shit, I don't know. But now it's going to be like, the Saudi people are paying like $256 million to get it there. Or some shit. My math might not be right. I might be a liar on the fucking internet. I don't know. But I saw some shit, dog. And they're making it so that they can have a World Cup in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> but wait, why, why are they bundling up South America as a whole? Like... There's multiple countries. What South if Brazil America, wants to hold it? Brazil held the 2014. Colombia. Colombia has no fucking World Cup, though. They're not Columbia in the World Cup? Fu- Argentina? Well, no, I, they might be. Brazil's doing shitty right now in qualifications. Yeah. But well, I, no, I, I, it's they're just, doing it in certain areas. Like Bro, basically, up, they're doing it in certain areas so that fucking... Saudi Arabia has to they're do They're just going to run out of countries. Yeah, they're, they're that's like, what they're Damn. doing. Bro, they got this guy, fucking Jordan Henderson, bro. Okay. Jordan Henderson. He, he's good, you know, Captain Liverpool. I can see him making 100 grand a week for the rest of his thing. That's the... 140 grand a week is, like, the type of player he is. Maybe he kissed someone's ass while he made 200,000 a week. Saudi Arabia is paying him. Seven hundred thousand dollars a week makes sense. Seven hundred thousand dollars a week. Yep, it's what you know. It's what he's worth. He's all for the pride. He'd wear the fucking the rainbow wristband. He's like suck dick and kiss me on the lips. I don't care. Like I'm cool with it. And he's all for everything. And then he went to the Saudi league, and he's like, don't do that shit. Yeah, no. Seven hundred thousand a week, bro. You're not. You're not wearing a pride. A pride fucking... You ain't doing shit. <laughs> wrist wrap or whatever the fuck. Nah, so what they want to do is now the Champions League. European League. It is the best teams in Europe, in the European League. So there's like, there's La Liga, which is the league in Spain.
Yo, let let my boy do his fucking thing, bro. He's not in my shit. There's La Liga, the league in Spain. Syria, the league in uh Italy. Ligue 1, the pussy league in France. Yeah. Then we got Premier League, where like the daddies are. Ligue Nos is uh the Portuguese league, and then Bundesliga, you know, shit like that. What about China? What about them? How come they don't do it in China? Ask him, bro. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Saudi Arabia is like... They well, kind of annoy me that they just buy everything like that. What do you mean? Uh. You got money, bro. Spend it. Man, they, what do they have money from? Th- Oil? That's stupid. They got money, dog. Do you like that they're spending 700 grand to get this guy? I don't give a fuck about Jordan Henderson. Um, you clearly what I did. cared about. You clearly did. They were trying to get Thomas Party. Okay. They didn't. Would you have liked it? I wouldn't have. That's my, my boy. But they, uh, what they want to do is, so basically, like, the Champions League is just as beautiful, like, European. It's like, the champions! And they, it's just European teams, bro. So now they're trying to get it, like, they call Ronaldo Mr. Fucking Champions League because he has the most goals and assists in the thing. He just, he slings his dick out in the Champions League, yeah, bro. It's good. There's no way. You got to fucking kiss it when you see it. But... They're trying to get his Saudi team, um, Al Nasser, in the Champions League, which is just is that how you feel? Al Nasser. It happens. It happens. It's just like all right. Where's Al Nasser from? Were making Saudi. A, Saudi. It's a Saudi league. <laughs> but people were making a big deal when they were like, "We want to do a Champions League final in uh, the United States." Motherfuckers are like, "Are you insane?" <laughs> Are you smoking fucking pebbles? Like, this is a, the fucking Champions League, the European competition. Why are we going to host it where there's fucking humidity everywhere? And now they're kind of like, oh, but Saudi Arabia's like, we'll give you 4000 fucking billion dollars. Yeah. If you can let, like, Al Nassar play in it. We'll retire FIFA. <laughs> Those corrupt fucks, bro. I don't fuck with them. It kind of sucks. Whatever. I don't know. They corrupt everything. Oh, damn. So where, the, how does this uh, go back to, um, what's his name? Do we watch the documentary on? Beckham? Yeah, how does this go back to Beckham? Beckham? It all started with Beckham. Uh, no, but it has nothing to do with Beckham. No? Nah. Yeah. That's a gorgeous ass man. Yeah, he's a good looking dude. Hell yeah. Damn. So like, is the Saudi team like competitive? Bro, listen. Ronaldo is like an amazing player, but it's just dog. That man has like, I think he played fucking fifteen games. He has like sixteen goals, eight assists. Yeah. Not really. Now that like a lot more people have come, like yeah, like now you got like a bunch of like players, but like, bro, he's making like one point two million a week, <laughs> or two million a week. How many years? I think he's going to retire there. I think he's going to do the one last World Cup. He's probably going to do the 2024 Euros, I think. Are the Euros next year? They might Is he going to go back to Barcelona to do that? First of all, you fucking idiot. Ronaldo's never played for Barcelona. Where's he play? He played for Real Madrid. Okay. Yeah. He Is he going to go back there? United. I don't even know what you're trying to say. For the, uh, for the Euro. He is Portuguese. So the Euros would be <laughs> the national team, <laughs> and know. he would play for his national team, which is Portugal. I got everything wrong. That's crazy. I was I was thinking Messi with Barcelona. That's crazy. I can't believe I fucked that up. You got anything you want to fucking talk about, bro? Anything at all? I don't know. I carried for nineteen minutes. I mean, yeah, you kept talking. You didn't carry. I didn't even have a chance to speak. I speak a little. Come on, go ahead. Use your words. Show me what you're capable of. Smoking on that Zani. To anyone watching, would you actually even respond back to this right now? <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> R.I.P. our homie, Connie. Yeah, R.I.P. Connie, Connie. Old Comp, Cornelius. I love you. Dude, she had the hardest name. Cornelius. Yeah. That's a great name. Her middle name was what? I don't know, bro. You remember? I never knew it. Yeah, neither did I. Yo, Connie killed it, though. I'm gonna miss her. She was, like, the best hairstylist. You need to talk about something. You would tell her 
What do you mean? What do you fucking? Sp- what did you bring to the table today, bro? How do I even keep going when you spend like twenty minutes talking about soccer and like you give me like three words worth of time to speak? So what are you feeling, bro? Like what's on your fucking radar right now, dog? What's on my radar right now? Yeah, dude, I don't even know right now. I'm chilling, you know. I, I genuinely am. Like I, my bl- my brain is gone right now. I don't even know what to talk about after what you just said. How'd your day go? It <laughs> went great. <laughs> you going on the second one? Oh, that one. Oh no, I thought you said day. Went it went good. You know, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I usually don't go on dates, so it's like you kind of don't know what to expect. This one I would say went good. You know, but I haven't spoken to him in a while. Why? Just kind of lost. You know. He didn't text back for a few days, then I te- we texted for a day, and then like I didn't text back for a couple of days because like shit happens, you know what I mean? You know when that happens, and it kind of just draws out, and like it could burn out, might not, might. You know what I'm talking about? Has it ever happened to you? So like, there was one time I was talking to this girl, and then it was like she didn't know we were talking yet though, but we were talking. Yeah, yeah. And fucking, I uh, she would respond, and like we would talk on Instagram or whatever, and then like I got the number. And then we were responding shit like that, and we were supposed to hang out in the morning. And we were supposed to go somewhere. And it was 3.45 in the morning, and she texted me. And she's like, you just want to hang out tomorrow? I said, what time? She's like, 10. Get there. I was like, I got there, bro. I, I don't think I slept. I was like, <laughs> time, dog. you had a whole separate like batch of energy come out for that. Yeah, I had fucking like 14 alarms. I went there. I got there before her. She came. I was like, oh, my God. That was a long time ago. That actually happened. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah. I like that girl's butthole. Rest is history. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. The, you, you licked her butthole at the beach? What the fuck are you saying? Well, wherever you met her? Who said we went to the beach? Maybe I'm thinking of another story then. Where'd you go? Diner? Yeah. You licked her ass at the diner? <laughs> yeah, dog. She's like, all right. She's right in the booth. Yo, you know what my favorite thing is in the world? Babies square up to other babies like dogs square up to dogs they don't know. They're like. And they just kind of like move around. Like, you ever seen a baby go? Like, they like, they're like stops, bro. Whatever they're doing is done. And they just kind of like look at them, they square them up. And then they do like their senses, and they're like, and their they big just ass like head just move, twitch. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I never even recognized babies were actually flexing at each other when they like freak out. Yeah, like brother, this. tell me what I'm doing with your bathroom. I'm remodeling it for you. No, 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 no. Let me know. You, you. There's a hostile takeover happening in my bathroom. He switched the lights out with these colored lights that change colors. That's nice. But he refuses to let me choose the color. He It's just straight red. Then he undoes the fucking light bulbs in the fucking bathroom. And I'm just sitting there like first thing in the morning. Picture you walk into the bathroom. Your eyes barely work. And all of a sudden you turn on the light to just see blood red. As you stare at yourself in the mirror. But I told you what I would do to fucking stop it. And I'd never go in your bathroom again. That's a lie. So I'm not even going to believe you. No. My brain already blocked it. I don't even remember it. I don't even remember what you told me I, I could said, do. all I want you to do, I said, listen, dog, I will stop fucking with the lights that I bought you. All I want you to do is I want you to take a shower in the full red. You're lying to me, though. There's no way. You're going to change the color every time I walk in no, there. No, I won't. And then make, like, a cop out, like, oh, I thought I'd look better this way. You know? Mm-mm. Yeah, definitely. There's no way you're going to give up that easy. I already told you what I'd do. No way you'd give up that easy. I'm losing interest, dog. I just want to go out with one more bang. Put just one more bang? Yeah. You changed the light back seven times today. And every time you got giddy. You're not lo- You're not losing interest. All right? You're there to torture me. You're going to fucking... I'm going to come in one day and it's going to be four red lights instead of the two in there right now. Like, it's fucked up. I was thinking of that. Dude, I bet. I bet. It popped into my head for a reason. You're just like anything to torment me. I'll walk into my bathroom and you like LED strips and everything just red. It's disgusting. How do you like that? It don't get you excited? No. And then he has like a nice calming violet color in his bathroom. Like, 
I had three regular lights and then one pink light. Yeah. And it, all, it always feels like you just got back from the beach. Like you broke one of the light bulbs that were normal. The other light bulb you unscrew constantly and then it's just red. I turn it to like blue and green, like a nice complimenting color tone to the regular light. No. I go back in there. Three seconds later, it's like he was hunting me down <laughs> to fucking put the light back to red. And it's just blood red. It's like I'm staring at myself in the mirror with like just the... I don't want to live my bathroom days in a horror movie. You know, that's all it is. I get angry. I get angry when it's just red. You don't get it? You Especially like when it happens eight times in a day. It happens eight times in a day. I wake up the first time, I'm like, damn, I don't like that. The second time I go into the bathroom, it's red again after I changed it. I change it back. I'm like, damn, that's crazy how that keeps happening. And then by the fifth time, I'm like, this is psychotic. Like it doesn't stop. Every time I walk out of that bathroom, what's the most you somehow ever, target it. What's the most that ever got you mad? It's not even about mad. It's a it's a slow burn. Those lights have been in there for three days. I've had to switch them back at least fifty times. Fifty fucking times. Uh, was there ever one that you were half asleep and you put it on? Every fucking morning since you put them in. How does it make you feel? Annoyed. What do you mean? Every time I see it, my my heart <laughs> melts. I come that much closer to death. Like it's shaving moments off my life. Because I'm just angry. Cortisol reliefs immediately. I'm just... I'm just ready to punch that mirror over and over again. That's on you. You know? You yeah, alright? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just end it right there. <laughs>